Hey guys and dolls. So, big news, huge. Um, today I got to go to the Mac Pro Store in San Francisco. This was just, I don't know, it was just exponentially fun for me because I love makeup, obviously. Um, I've wanted to go to the Mac Pro Store for over two years, so I was just a total kid in candy shop. Um, oh my god, it was so cool. I just, I got to try all kinds of things that I've been only, you know, looking at online on the Mac Pro site and just drooling over and um, I actually got a couple things that I've been wanting for a really, really long time. Got to try products that have come out recently or that have been out for a while and I've just been like, whoa, I wonder what that's like. Like, 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 like. Let's see how many times I say like in this video. <laughs> um, I thought that the Chroma Cakes were going to be like this, were going to be this size. This is a MAC blush. But they were um, more similar in size to a CD. I'm trying very hard not to say like now. Um, or um. Um and like are like the worst words ever. Okay. They were about the size of a CD. And they were about this thick. I just thought that was really cool because I thought they were going to be so much smaller. And um, finally got to check out Cream Color Bases. I actually have like a regular like MAC store that I go to all the time. And they carry some pro product. Like they carry like eyeshadow pans and pro palettes and stuff like that and they have cream color bases but they had different colors at um, Mac Pro and I got to check out chroma lines which are like <laughs> totally awesome I'm completely obsessed with them now I spent like five minutes describing them on the phone with Candy as soon as I left Mac Pro um, I got to check out all kinds of glitter I'm completely obsessed with um, reflex purple duo crystal orange Reflex Transparent Teal, Reflex Very Pink, um, Reflex, no, not Reflex, um, 3D Copper, 3D Silver, I'm just completely obsessed with MAC glitter now. It's beyond ridiculous. And I got to try out some pigments and stuff that I had never really seen in person. It was just freaking awesome, you guys. It was just the coolest day ever. Um... And that was really all that was on the... Oh, I got my hair cut today, too. Like, just a trim at, like, the local beauty school. like that. But other than that, um, going to Mac Pro was, like, only thing on the agenda. So I got to spend a long time in there. Um, I was also the only customer in there, so I got totally individualized attention, which was really, really cool. And the girl that was helping me, actually, as it turns out, lives, like, in my neighborhood, which was kind of cool. And... Um, she normally works at a regular Mac store, so for her, um, it was it was a lot of fun, too, because she doesn't normally work at the pro store. So for her, the products were exciting, too, and I could tell, and it was just really fun. And I don't know. It was just it was a really great experience. Um, I was really bummed because the whole purpose of me going there today, you guys, was to get water-based mixing medium. I've been wanting it for two years now. I just wanted to freaking get it once and for all. That was the purpose of going to Mac Pro, and they were sold out. And I almost cried in the store. I'm not kidding. So <laughs> that kind of really sucked. I almost got the, the eyeliner mixing medium, but I really, really want to just hold out for what it is I know I want. I've tried the little home remedies and stuff of Visine and Fix Plus and that one recipe that Encore had and everything. And um, the one from Encore tends to crease and just um, Fix Plus tends to crease. And water works okay, but I want to use an actual, like, mixing medium that I bought at MAC. And that might make me a little bit of, I don't know, a weird uptight makeup chick, but whatever. Um, and then I asked her about, like, the new foundations that they have, because they just came out with a Studio Sculpt foundation with SPF. And a new concealer that kind of goes with it that comes in a paint pot type jar. So, um, and the new foundation comes in a tube, which I really like because it keeps everything, you know, um, hygienic. I'm a big, big, big fan of makeup that comes in a tube. Jars are just kind of sucky sometimes. But, um, although I do love my paint pots, don't get me wrong, girl. So, and boy, and Mr. Sisters and all them people. <laughs> I'm such a fucking goober. Okay, so, um, so... Also, trade of thought. Okay, so I got a sample of the Studio Sculpt Foundation and the concealer because I want to try them out because me and MAC Foundation don't really get along very well. 
So I want to really try it out for a while before I actually buy it. Even though it's not terribly expensive, I actually, yesterday I bought the um, Makeup Forever High Definition Foundation. And this was $40. So yeah, that's kind of pricey. Um, I'm not 100% sure how I feel about it yet, so I'm not going to make any kind of statement about it whatsoever. Um, but I did buy that, so I'm kind of going to be test testing those both out at the same time, and whichever one I really like, um, I mean, like, if I end up finding out that the MAC one is better than the, than the Makeup Forever one, then, quite honestly, I'm going to return this, because $40 for something that's not as good as something that's, you know, $28, that's just silly, um, yeah, but I don't have any judgment about either one of them yet, because I, I've only really worn both one time each and I'm currently wearing the MAC one so I've only been wearing it for like almost four hours um so anyway so I got a sample of that because I really wanted to try it out I almost bought it because it felt so nice in the store it's like gel based and it's really creamy um but I just bought the makeup for everyone so I'm like okay let's let's slow down on the foundation buying because I also like a month ago I bought the bare essentials foundation I've just been foundation frenzy so, um, and then I got a couple of eyeshadows I've been wanting for a long time. Um, I've been, I've been wanting Goldenrod for a couple years. Ever since I found out about Mac Pro, I'm like, ooh, I want that eyeshadow. This would be like if orange eyeshadow and chrome yellow, like, had a baby. This would be the color. So freaking pretty. I love oranges. Um, ugh, um is the worst word. Uh, because I have blue eyes and so it makes it pop. Um, another color that really kind of makes my eyes pop is lime greens. So I got Sour Lemon. I probably have too many colors that are in the same kind of color family. You know, I have Bitter, I have Sharp, and I have this. This is kind of like in between Sharp and Bitter. It's a Velux texture, so it's matte, but it's not chalky at all. The Velux texture is the best texture Mac has ever come out with, I swear. Well, mm, maybe not. Okay, I take back that last statement. It's a really good matte texture from, from any line. It's a really good texture because it's not chalky. Um... This is so much more pigmented than Bitter ever could hope to shout to be. It's really pretty, but it's not as pigmented as, fro as um, Sharp, because I believe Sharp is a frost. And then here's Goldenrod. And then I also got Plumage eyeshadow. I've been wanting Plumage for a really long time. Um, it's a regular matte texture, but it kind of behaves like the matte squared eyeshadows. It's kind of a really dark, dark bluish green kind of like a teal sure so <laughs> they're completely all three of those are completely unrelated and I I'm, well, I could probably use those two together or maybe those two in like a really weird look but um I just I've really been wanting them for such a long time and they've been sold out of the plumage in the pan at my regular Mac store so I figured when you know while I'm here I'll just go ahead and get it um so yeah that was kind of my Mac pro experience. Uh, then when I was at Sephora the other day when I picked up the Makeup Forever Foundation, I also picked up Makeup Forever Mist and Fix. This is like the mini bottle. It's like $8. It's at the checkout. This is what they call um, Impulse Buy. Um, it's like a spray-on thing that you put on over your makeup and it's supposed to set it all day. I'm not so sure if it really does that. But um, again, I'm reserving judgment until I've tried it for a while. And then because I had enough beauty points, I got a new, or I got, yeah, I got something new, no kidding. I got, um, well, it is sort of new. Um, one of the benefit, this is like the most random stupid video, and I'm so sorry, you guys. <sighs> oh, I need to stop filming these things late at night. Um, it's a Craceless Cream Shadow Liner from Benefit. This is basically the same type of thing as Paint Pots. It's a little bit more expensive than Paint Pots. I believe that these are normally $18, um, but whatever, if you really like Benefit, you know, or if you have one near you and you don't have a Mac near you, or you, whatever. Um, it's kind of a shimmery light pink. I've used this about three times since I got it yesterday, and I really like it, guys. Um, it works pretty good. So, I think, oh yeah, duh, the big thing in front of me. Um, I ordered this a while back, uh, from the, the same eBay seller that Mischievous bought it from. If you guys don't know who Mischievous is, you guys are living under a rock. Okay? 
Um, this is that's the 28 Neutral Palette. Um, Miss Chevious showed this in one of her videos. I've been lusting after it for a while, so my husband got it for me for Valentine's Day. Um, again, I just got it, so I'm not going to give any kind of a review for it. All I could say is that so far, so good. I, I did a really quick, threw a really quick look together with it. Um, just kind of slapped the eyeshadows on, really. But I really like them thus far. So, and then also, um, for having to wait so long, because um, the palette was on back order, the seller uh, sent me an eyeshadow brush, which is kind of cool. It says Chanel on it. I, you know, I don't know if it's real, you guys. Uh, I'm not going to say that it's not real. I'm not going to say that it is real. It's just, in any case, it's a really nice, um, very, very, very soft, um, densely packed little shader brush. It's kind of similar to, like, the MAC uh, 213. So I'm happy with that. That's kind of cool. Oh, God, it's really soft. If it's not real, it's still nice, so I don't care. You know? So, that is my haul. There's other stuff I've bought since the last time I made a haul video, but I just haven't felt like making one until I went to the Mac Pro Store, and then I was just like, blah, 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 blah. super excited. I need to stop being in front of the camera now because I sound really stupid. <laughs> so, and I dropped my brush, and I will talk to you guys soon. I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to get a makeup video made this week. I um, actually kind of need your guys' help. I need to know what your opinions are about my videos. Are they too long? Like, this one is just a haul video, and it's running over 10 minutes. Um, and But, like, my makeup videos are usually now somewhere between, like, 14 and 12 minutes. Is that too long? Um, I know I try to, like, show you every detail as much as possible. So if you guys would prefer me to, like, cut them down more and not show you as much of the blending or whatever, then I can do that. Um... But if you guys like the length and stuff, let me know that. I just I need your guys' help so that I'm not putting out videos that you guys don't really want to watch because they're too long or they would be too short and don't show enough. You guys let me know what you want. Alright, I'll talk to you guys later.